Welcome back to the channel, folks. Thank you to my subscribers for being here. And if you haven't yet subscribed, click that button because we got a lot coming yet. Okay, so today we're going to do a transmission, quote, transaxle fluid change. This is for people that have never done it yet. Some of you are going to think this is boring, but you know what? Some people don't know. And I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook like that. So let's get on it. All right, I have a car. And this is on the driver's side. That's a 17 millimeter Allen head. So buy yourself one of these. I got a three pack at AutoZone of like 12, 14, and 17. Uh, and you can get them online. You always loosen your fill plug first. Because if you loosen the plug underneath that I'll show you in a minute for draining and you can't get the fill plug out, You've just emptied your transmission, transaxle, and you're screwed. So let's loosen this first. Now, nothing is going to come out of mine. It's already empty because I had this transaxle out, but I'm just at least showing you what to do. Come on. Okay. That's your fill plug. Now, you're going to notice your fill plug and drain plugs are different. Your fill plug don't have the magnet on it. The drain plug does, where it gets all the contaminants and holds them at the bottom. Okay, so you're going to go underneath and you're going to loosen up the drain plug since the fill plug came out. The reason I'm doing this right now is because the motor's not in and it's easier for me to get under here and show you. And you know what? I forgot. Oh well, you get to see the real deal. I forgot there was some fluid in here. So no big deal. We'll drain her out. Wasn't that quite humiliating? I completely forgot to drain this one. But I drained the other one. The fluid actually don't look that bad coming out of this. So we're going to refill it with fresh fluid. And it should be done in a minute. I'll speed up the film while it's dripping so you don't have to watch, but you can at least see what it looks like when it's done. Now, that's going to be about it there. Or I'll be sitting here for three years because it's very thick fluid. Make sure when you put it back on, your drain plug is the one with the magnet in it. See the little uh, male end there? The plug for the side don't have one because all the contaminants will go to the bottom and collect on the magnet. A lot of people don't pay attention to doing this and it's very, very important. One more time, see? One with a magnet goes in the drain plug. So let's put that in. Okay. You can torque this to what the Bentley calls for. I can't remember. And I'm not going to give you torque specs anyhow. I don't like doing that because everybody has their own ideas about that for some reason. Not sure why. So you're just going to snug this up. Find out the torque. And do it. Okay, we're going to move to the side. Now, you can use what you want to use. I have a bunch of different bottles, same weight, same GL number, everything. I use the old-fashioned 80-90 weight. You use what you want. Some people want to put synthetics in and 
all the other crap, you know, AMS oil, whatever. I stay with what they used back in the day, and I have never had an issue. Some people run straight 90 weight, but we can get into oil debates all day. This is what I've run forever, and I've never had a problem. So let's put it in. Now what you're going to do, you're going to get your thing ready. Just like doing a rear end on a car, you're going to squeeze it in, which can take a little while. It's thick. Sorry, I can't get a better camera angle, but you know what I'm doing. They have the snout inside of it. And I'm going to show you what to do when you don't have the luxury that I do with sliding under the car and doing it like this because the motor is out of the way. Tilt it up a little so you can get it all out. Have a drain pan under there because you fill it until it starts to come out. So you don't want it all over your driveway or your garage or what have you. I'm in my garage, so I don't want rear end oil or whatever you want to call it, 80, 90 weight all over my floor because that stuff stinks. Okay, this one wasn't full. It was sitting on my bench or on my shelf. So let's get the other one here. Make sure your car's level, by the way. Should have told you that. Make sure it's sitting on the level. Don't have the back end in the air and then the front end on the ground because if you do that, you're not going to get a proper level in it. It'll all be tilted forward. So make sure you get the car up in the air safely with jack stands and actually keep it level. I'm just gabbing while this is going in. They sell some pretty unique ones now instead of the bottles. I'll show you a picture here. Where you can technically squeeze the package up inside of there instead of uh, trying to fight with a bottle, pretty much like I'm doing right now. But it is what it is. You should enjoy maintenancing your car. Because that's what part of it's about. Pretty sure, anyhow. This fluid's cold. It's 40 degrees, and it actually was sitting on my shelf, so it's a little thick. It's getting there. Now, once in a while, take it and pull the bottle out to see if it starts running because sometimes the lip of this will seal it and you're hosing more in and it's already full. See what I'm doing there? Okay, let me get another one because this bottle's one bottle was full and the one wasn't. Be right back. Okay. Should be getting there soon. Remember, this stuff's thick, so it takes a while to squeeze out of there. There, see that? See how it's running out? That means it's full, see? Put the fill plug in. I'm trying to reach around the camera so I don't block you. And I know a lot of you know how to do this, but maybe somebody that just is adventuring into their first beetle, don't know. So it never hurts to learn and knock the bottle over, which you just heard fall on the garage floor.
remember, look up the torque. Torque it properly. Don't act like a maniac now. And end up over tightening it. You never get the dang thing back out. I'm just so used to doing them by feel. Okay, that is it. All right, just a little explanation here. If you have to do this from outside the fender well, okay, which you can do because your motor will be in and everything, take a rubber hose and run it through the fender well down into that hole. And of course, the rubber hose is going to be out here sticking up, and you can put your gear lube in there. And what you got to remember when you're putting it in, if it starts to overflow out where it's filled, you still got a lot in that tube, so get your thumb on it and pull it out of there. Hope that helps a little bit. All right, so that was your transaxial. Okay, so that was your transmission transaxle. Okay, so that was your transaxle fluid change. Uh, like I said, choose what you want in the fluids. I stick with 8090, that's what I use forever. So it is what it is. Uh, any questions, drop me in the comments below. We got a lot more to come, and we're going to keep doing it until we show every little thing that you can do, including an engine rebuilt probably towards the late winter. Talk with you soon. Thanks.